welcome back to Build Tune Race. Hopefully today is the day that we do the first major burnout in Bernie. And I got a little package here with some safety equipment in it. And we're gonna go ahead and get that installed and try to head out to the track. It's they call it like a Taco Tuesday, do a little burnout, make sure everything is checked out on the truck. So then hopefully we can head to the ice cream cruise and do a big burnout there. They're gonna have an Aussie style burnout pad there. So that is the plan today. Truck is all back together from being painted. Uh, just time to add a little bit of safety. There's a few other random things I'd like to do to the truck, but time is just not on our side today. Maybe a few more days of working on it and have everything dialed in for the ice cream cruise. So this is kind of going to be the good shakedown. So I'm going to get this thing opened up. So I got a few little things in this order for motion. I ended up picking up a uh, catch can. So an overflow catch can that I'd like to get installed because right now i got the old water bottle. So we're going to end up getting that installed. One of the new billet overflow and transmission cooler uh, catch cans, which are freaking awesome. And then got some lines. Got me a new t-shirt for the weekend. And then right here is the good old Stroud. Can't forget that sucker, though. A little push lock fitting, too, for that. And then uh, if I can get this thing out of here, I ended up ordering a Stroud Power Glide blanket. So this thing is going to be really nice and hopefully keep my feet intact if the transmission ever blows up. Hell yeah. So here we go. Really nice piece. Flexible uh, safety blanket that goes right over the main part of the transmission. So then if you ever have any major issues with it, hopefully this thing keeps everything tucked in place and doesn't let it come up through the cab if you've ever seen any of the bad videos so we're gonna go ahead and get the blanket out i also got a drive shaft loop i'm trying to get in here uh but we're gonna wrap the tranny around with the blanket it'll come right through here strap it down so that's part of this thing when you're running a vehicle on the ragged edge you never know what might blow up or break so get some safety equipment put on this thing uh eventually i'd like to you know get a good seat five point harness stuff like that too as this build kind of goes further and everything so hopefully by the weekend get all this stuff installed uh but for tonight at least take care of the important stuff and getting that blanket on something else that alex actually came over and helped me do just a few minutes ago before we got started was we ended up going ahead and deleting the rear brake so pulled the cap off right here i, I made a little cap welded it uh adapter fitting and so we went ahead and tapped off the rear brakes so no more rear brakes on this thing and just fronts so we need to make sure that the fronts are still good we might have to bleed them again before we head out so literally only have like an hour or two to complete this stuff so we're gonna get on it get this thing ready get it loaded up and head out to the track all right everyone so we're close but it's raining outside but anyway we got the blanket on drive shaft loop is installed so all safety up I'm trying to keep my legs intact so nothing comes through the truck and now, I think it's time to brand this thing up before it's first burnout. So that was kind of part of the plan is paint it white, get some big build tune race decals on the door. And then also I'll probably put another motion one like here. We've got the one on the windshield. Then you never know, maybe some other sponsors will jump on board one day. We'll be able to throw some of their logos on here. So we're going to get these decals installed, loaded up, hopefully head to the track. It's raining right now. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we can still go play tonight. I don't see why you can't do burnouts in the rain. All right, everyone, so just made it out to the track. A little late, but we got everything done on the truck, safety-wise. Everything's ready to go, pretty much, so get it unloaded. Try to go do a burnout here. All right, everyone, so Bernie is unloaded. As you guys can see, we've got the stickers put on it. Motion up there. It's going to do some down the sides, but ended up throwing one on the back. We'll get some more stickers, though. So otherwise, I pulled a little bit of timing out of it just to be safe, add a little enrichment when it starts to get hot. We should have a good, solid burn-up tune in this thing, so let's go see what happens. All right, here we go.
I'm gonna burn up the tire. <laughs> Much fun? Yeah, that didn't take long. <laughs> that? Yeah, that was crazy. Check out the Woo! So how'd the rear brake delay work? <laughs> Perfect. Oh yeah. Fire gone. <laughs> nice paint job. <laughs> oh yeah, both the shit. That's what I figured. Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what it needed to do. It won't. It doesn't have enough in second. Second bogs it down too much. First gear though, it rips. But oh well. I gotta figure out something, maybe some nitrous in second, it'll help it clear out and come up, but that was perfect. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so that first burnout was awesome. I can't, it's just so much fun to build a truck like this and just get to go do stuff like that. All right, so we got the wheels all swapped over, the Mazda's up front, the fronts of this are now on the back and April's gonna do some practice for the ice cream cruise. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Yeah. So There's put no on the brake. Here. Grab all the gas and just wait until the rev limit and back it down a little bit and we'll just have her learn to feather the throttle so she can just get comfortable with doing it. It's super easy with the rear brakes deleted. You just, it doesn't go anywhere. You can literally park it somewhere and it'll just sit there. So the, the truck is bogging down in second. So when you click it to second, I'll probably have her try it, but it, it kind of pulls the motor down. So we might need either some nitrous to pull it up past that. Converter would probably help, but maybe also when I get littler tires on the rear, maybe it'll get past it. So just playing. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. All right, get your element and we'll go do Rip a burnout. <laughs> All right, here we go. You ready? Yep. All right. Full brake. Just stay on the brake. Don't don't get off the brake. Okay. And we're just going to stay right here. We're not trying to go forward. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. I just want you to stay right here during that hill. Right. Full brake. Like, hit good brake. Yeah, I got it. Would it? But if it comes up, starts hitting the ramp. Like, watch this. You want this to be like six, around 6,000. Okay? Like, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven. So you just manipulate it. And then I might help you try to go into second. And then if not, I'll bring it back down to first. Okay? Okay, so just nail it. Just stay on the brake. Would it? Looking good, 192, perfect. All right. Take it back, let it cool off the tranny a little bit, and then I'll go send it in the other pad and we'll go home. Good? Anybody watching this, you need to build a burnout vehicle. 
This is the funnest thing ever. It doesn't crazy. do much, but it is so much fun. Went into second there with the water, and it just freaking ripped all the way up to freaking 7,000 RPM, high gear, just, just stayed rowdy, down. rowdy bird out. Yeah, you did awesome with throttle control. It just hanging right there, 6,600 RPM. <laughs> One more burnout for the night. I'm gonna go out there. I don't know if I'm gonna go for the full pop of the tires. Since I gotta drive it back in the trailer, I have no other sets to drive it back in the trailer with. I don't know if I can get it. I would assume it would drive up in there, but I'll go out there, send it for a little bit, shut it down. I'm sure the tranny and everything's pretty hot by now. It's gonna need new fluid, but uh, in the engine, we'll do an oil change before, but otherwise, enough talking, let's do some burnouts. Fun night, what a fun truck, what a fun build. What do you think? It's pretty awesome. <laughs> so April got to go for a ride along there on the last one that I did over here. She got to practice hers, which second gear, this thing roast tires. Like I was barely even able to go on there and do that because it already killed them from your burnout. Yeah. So I mean, even our big burnout with the ice cream crews, I best, I bet won't but take maybe a two and a half minutes at best if it's like a brand new set of tires on it and uh maybe only two minutes i mean it was probably not even a minute i guess my first one out here when i popped tires almost two minutes so this thing will pop tires and roast them extremely fast extremely extremely fast i'm not even able to go into second gear yet in the skid part of it just in the big burnout side but hopefully down at the ice cream cruise the car will, truck will be at better elevation so maybe i'll make a little more horsepower and i'll be able to go into second and use it if not still those pretty crazy burnouts in first uh, i'm just gonna play with it have some fun you gotta love it Fun, huh? It was super fun. I'm so excited to finally use Bernie. <laughs> yeah, so. Bernie does burnouts. Bernie does burnouts. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the content. And if you would, please hit that subscribe button so you get more of these videos. And we will see you guys next time.